Yeah, yeah, so, so the first lightning talk starts in, uh, one minute, okay. and then the one after that starts ten minutes later. Okay. Uh, anything that okay. happens, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. Okay, so I should I start? Okay. Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, I'm Juan. Uh, start with is him, and he will present, I think, in two presentations later. And today I'm going to present you uh, a project that we call EasyJIT, which is a library that tries to bring just-in-time compilation for C++ codes. So as I said, it's a actually it's a compiler-assisted library, so it's not only a library for runtime code generation. So it's not a virtual machine, a magical virtual machine that uh, optimizes your code and looks at it and monitors it and does a lot of tricks. And it's also not the building blocks for a just in the compiler that, like the LLVM or like the libgit is. So to figure out more or less what it is, I'm going to show you uh, a quick example. So here, trust me, this is a convolution kernel we are, pass we are applying a convolution kernel over a video stream. And for example, if we look at the mask, the mask size and the mask area, that may be changed by the user at any time during the execution. We also have, okay, the, the, frame, the input frame and the output frame. And we also have the dimensions of the image and the number of channels of the image. This may change depending on the, on the video input. It's not the same for a webcam, that may be for HD video or something else. We can make some assumptions a priori, but we don't know the exact value at compile time that these variables will take. So it could be profitable to generate a specialized version for the kernel function for the values that are taking actually at runtime for all these variables. How do we do this? We use the EasyShield library. And how do we do that? We change the code like that. So we have only one header and one function call in the entire library. I don't know here if you are familiar with stdbind. Anybody have ever heard of it? So it's a standard C++ construct. Uh, it's really old, I think. And it allows you to get a function object the, by, by binding the parameters of the, of the function that is passed as parameter. We try to respect the same semantics as stdbind because it's practical to, to not have to learn a new interface. So here, what the, this function call is doing is, is specializing, it's generating at runtime a new version of the kernel function. It's going to pass mask, mask size, and mask area as the first, second, and third parameters of uh, the new function of the call to kernel. And it's going to put the actual constant, the actual value of these variables in the new version. So for example, on some optimizations like constant propagation, loop and rolling, can do some extra work now, now that they have this new information available. We are going to take the first and the second parameter of the newly created function, and we're going to forward it to kernel as uh, the image in, as the input frame and the output frame, and then we're going to also fix the image dimensions and the number of channels to the values uh, taken here. And we're this is going to give us a function object what that we can call a semi function object, like we do here, and it's going to compute the same function as it's going to compute the same as the code that we've seen before. What's cool about this is that we are doing everything in C++, so everything is a C++ object. We can do everything that we do with our typical C++ object. So we can store it on a vector, move it around, store it on an, or store it on an STD map, for example, to create a code cache. And we actually provide, so we have a second thing that we provide with the library, that it's a simple code cache uh, that allows us to not to have to recompile the entire uh, code if we already compiled it before. So the syntax, it's the same as before. And the only thing that it changes is that it will return a constant reference because the code is owned by the cache and not by, the, by us. How does this work? OK, I said it was a compiler assi assisted library. It's because it actually needs some uh, compiler help. So we have one LLVM plugin that is loaded, that is going to pass the, the, the calls to our library. Now it's going to embed the bit code 
associated to a course, uh, to, a to a library.